is not a map box, it's Padcaster's Parrot Teleprompter. For less than 140 bucks, you could start pumping out scripted talking head videos just like this in almost no time at all. Now, how the fuck do you work this thing? What's up everybody, Kevin Mendoza here, coming at you today with a review video of what I think is a budget-friendly solution to making scripted talking head videos. If you've ever wondered how I make these YouTube videos without sounding like a complete idiot, it's because I script exactly what I wanna say and practice how I wanna say it. However, the most time-consuming part about making a scripted video just like this is memorizing the script and delivering the lines over and over again in front of the camera and hoping at least one of the takes is a good one. Now, the parrot teleprompter can be a solution for saving a ridiculous amount of time. If you don't already know, a teleprompter is a reflective screen that goes over the lens of the camera, feeding you your lines of the script so that way it looks like you're looking directly into the lens. Or it could be a monitor situated somewhere close to the lens, feeding you your lines so that way you're still looking in that general direction. But here's how the parrot teleprompter works. First, you have to put one of these mounting rings on your lens. Just check the size of your thread and all of these are labeled right there. They have all different sizes to accommodate all different lens types. This is how the hood of the teleprompter will mount onto the lens. After writing your script, upload the text to your iPhone via Dropbox, Google Docs, or just email it to yourself. You want the script to be on your phone so that way you could copy and paste it to the Parrot Teleprompter app. Once your script is pasted in the app, set it to mirror mode so that way it displays backwards on your phone but reflects back to you in the correct orientation through the teleprompter when you set your phone inside the hood. The app allows you to adjust the size of your font so that way it's easier for you to read and my suggestion would be to use a rather big font so that way your eye movement will be less noticeable as your eyes scan from left to right. You'll also have control of how fast your script will scroll depending on how you want to deliver your message. The teleprompter also comes with this little Bluetooth remote that connects to your phone and this allows you to start, stop, scroll up, or scroll down should you get lost in your script. So now that I've told you how it works and how easy it is to use, it could be tempting to cop one of these for the price point considering how much time you'll save while filming. However, I will admit I've never used this for making a YouTube video, and my reasons are threefold. The first reason why I don't use this teleprompter is because of eye movement. I use a very wide lens so that way you could see me in my space that is my creative studio slash living room. And because of the massive field of view, I have to sit pretty damn close to the lens for the composition that I want. Just to give you an idea of how close I actually am to the camera, 19 inches. And being this close to the lens also means that the screen of the teleprompter is very close to my face, which would make my eye movement more obvious because my eyes have to scan further in distance as I go from left to right. And that just makes my message mean less because it's obvious that that guy's just reading off a teleprompter. Secondly, reading the script live as opposed to memorizing my lines messes up my delivery. It may be I just need more practice with a teleprompter, but I found that I couldn't bring out much of my personality if I'm reading. When I did try this out, I was just way too focused on anticipating what the next line would be as the script scrolled up the screen, and I sounded even more monotone and robotic than I do now. At least with memorizing, I feel like I've internalized what the line is, and I could change the dynamics of my voice inflection, my hand gestures, my head movement, that kind of stuff. The last reason why I don't use this teleprompter is because of the setup time. Tweaking the font size and scroll speed through trial and error is way more time consuming than one would think. Making these types of videos are already a lot of work and adding steps to the workflow just removes any fun the process already had. But don't let my reasons affect your decision to get and use one of these. Cause who knows, you might be a better reader than I am. Anyway, that's all I got for you. If you like this video or at the very least found it informative, don't be shy to show me some love and hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this where I share my experiences with camera gear or techniques, consider subscribing. This is Kevin Mendoza. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.